Well, I am back and heading on a new route back to the house that I have not been at before. This is uh, Prospect, Pennsylvania. So we'll uh, we'll see what we, got, what we got in this little town. I think I'm about 12 miles out from my place. So uh, hopefully it takes a long time to get there in the uh, <laughs> down some beautiful roads. So. It's pretty, pretty, pretty out. Can't wait for this ride tomorrow with uh, a couple of the fellas. One of these days, uh, I know I mentioned Harley Day Rider HDR. Um, and if you, if you haven't checked out his videos, you really should go do that. Um, again, good videos, good tips. A lot of great, a lot of great scenery. Just a, a good guy, too. So, um... We've corresponded a little back back and forth and talked about getting together and riding. It just hasn't uh, worked itself out yet. So hopefully it'll happen. It'll be good to ride with him. I think he's looking for somebody to blog with. And hopefully I wouldn't screw that up if I did. So um, Don't you love old towns like this? Wow. I like it. I got some uh, some new highway pegs I put on too. I haven't uh, not used them too much yet. I'm not uh, really haven't used them before. Oh my God, lady! Please don't do that. I probably looks at me like I'm an idiot. Um, Again, folks, when you're cutting grass, please don't do that. That one was even worse. Tons of grass, halfway in the street. You know, we bikers are trained and experienced to get around stuff, but what if a car was coming across and I had to ride the right side of the lane and through that grass and definitely could have uh, caused an accident. A lot of it's just education, I think, by... Uh, that we need to do to people so would have loved to stop and educate her in a uh, respectful way of course I'd be respectful to everybody especially women and and my elders so um, but please don't do that Alright, so I'm not really sure where I'm at, other than uh, my GPS tells me I'm going to take a right up here. Oh, this looks like this is taking me on 422. I don't know if this is the main 422 or, or what, but I'm thinking we're going to find out. I'm thinking we're going to find out. Will it take us into Butler? Yeah, I think this is uh, going to take me out on... The road that I'm used to coming up from the dealership, which is kind of not the back way I wanted to take, but let's see how it goes. We'll ride it out here. Tons and tons and tons of traffic. Not going anywhere soon. Not going anywhere soon. One more and we'll uh, have a free shot. Another nice thing about being on a bike, you're never in a hurry. No sense to jump out in front of somebody. Horse trailers. So this is Dick Road. Yes, it's called Dick Road. Um, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna head that way. I think I'm gonna go into Butler a little bit and check, kind of check it out. Hey, brother. Amazing how when you're trying to get home from a trip or somewhere, you're always. 
looking for the quickest route and rushing to get home and when you're on a motorcycle it's like huh let's go the long way let's go the long way so I've uh, taken four or five little clips if you will on the Sun of Tennessee I think about 10 or 15 minutes each I'm not real sure to be honest um, I know how far it is out out to the lakes I know that or to the park but maybe if I got some free time tonight I will uh, try to download a program and um, see if I can't cut it up a little bit maybe one of them's good enough maybe the one in the park is good enough there I can just throw that out on YouTube and uh, see if I can get any hits or comments. I'd love to send the, the link to Harley Day Rider HDR and get his feedback and coaching. Definitely not a guy that needs a pat on the back, but somebody who would like to uh, learn what what's working good and what I can improve on. So and. Uh, He's able to do that and keep my interest while I watch his videos, which is kind of cool. You know, he, a couple weeks ago he took his um, adult uh, daughter. Sit there, buddy. Watch the tires, riders, right? Um, and uh, took his daughter out for a nice long ride, which, uh, which uh, was, was, was super cool. I really like that, so... Let's see what we're doing here. We are going to go right here. I don't think that I have ever been down Eagles Mill Road either. Going to be now. A couple slick spots there we got to look out for. It's a cycle place. Hey, this sounds good. Looks good. Anything in the country and road motorcycles got to be good, right? Yeah, you know, I, I, I was talking a little bit earlier on a, on another clip. I'm not sure it'll make this this segment, but uh, we were riding home last night, and my neighbor and I were talking about it's getting time for deer season, right? And the deer are starting to come out. There's a lot of windy roads getting back and forth to our house, and certainly got to be careful of that nowadays, especially at dawn early in the morning as the sun's coming up and of course at at dusk when the uh, our four-legged friends are on the prowl so motorcycle meets John Deere no good Some beautiful smells out here. Some grass, which isn't good for my allergies. Wow. Wow, is that a left-hand turn at zero miles an hour? I'm thinking that's not it, actually. Wow, look at this turn. We'll, uh, we'll take this one a little bit slow. Safely. Speaking of deer, looky there. Here is a fawn. <laughs> Can't set it up any better than that now, can I? <laughs> yeah, this blocking's easy. Get on the road, talk a little bit, talk about safety and deers, and then one will run in front of you. So the fawns are out. Fawns are out. Couldn't get a and cool to kind of get a snapshot of that one, but I'm sure it'll be on on the video. And of course, want to make sure we're safe. Some traffic around me, and everybody's being safe, not to hurt themselves, and of course, the animal. I am looking forward to um, deer hunting here in the next um, next couple of weeks or a couple months, I should say. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Got a 
buddy that uh, I'll tell you is my best friend is in um, Michigan and he um, has some land that we hunt on a lot trying to be careful through here um, so I think I'm gonna be out in the first or second week in October spending time with him and only been hunting for three years so gotten two my first two of the first three years I was able to get does um, it's amazing every time I go out I just learn more and more about hunting um, and, and I, I need to, to look for a buck this year be patient and make sure I'm not taking anything too small and helping control the population yet doing it appropriately so I am looking forward to that and I have not been this way because I do not remember this stop sign look at all that wood out there my wife would die for that she's a lover of wood burning fireplaces and unfortunately this past home we bought has gas so you can bet if we drove by there she would say something about that but I am gonna get a fire pit if that helps put it out by the hot tub and maybe she can smoke it that way there's a dirt bike that if I bought I would kill myself on for sure and I do actually do know where we're at now so this is good we pop it out a little bit closer to to my homestead. It's nice to just get out and explore and learn the area and see deer. <laughs> Alrighty, we are uh, we are off here. Well, hopefully this came through, came out okay, and I didn't stumble, stumble too much, but uh, I do appreciate you watching, and uh, if you like it, and can add to my growing, growing fandom base of nine YouTube uh, followers, I would appreciate you joining. There you go, brother. But thanks again, and uh, always be safe out there.